process costing. We're going to be doing FIFO costing first. And if you've looked at the text, you know there are five steps to success when you're doing a process cost report or production report using FIFO. The first one says account for the physical units. And from the problem P2, we know that there are 4,250 physical units in beginning inventory, and they're 100% done as far as direct materials are concerned, and they're 70% done as far as labor and overhead, in other words, their conversion costs. We also know that we started during the period 61,300 units. So in total, we as a manager have to account for 65,550 units. Well, what happened to those units? The only thing the problem tells us is that ending inventory is 3,400 units. So if I'm responsible for 65,550 units, and I know that in 3,400 units are still with me, the rest must have transferred out. Now when FIFO says the first units in are the first units transferred out. So when we look at units transferred out, we know that those 4,250 units in beginning inventory were completed and transferred out. FIFO, first in, first out. We also know then that the difference, in other words, the fabulous plug number of 57,900 must be the amount of the units that were both started this period and completed this period and transferred out of our work in process or our production process. So that's step one, account for your physical units. Step two says account for your effort. Well, how much effort did you spend? Hmm, that's like how much did you sweat? So under FIFO, we're only interested in the current equivalent units of effort. So let's look at it this way. If we have 4250 physical units in beginning inventory, how much work did you do on them this period? Well, if they were 100% complete as far as materials already, you did no work on them as far as materials are concerned this period. If these uh, 4,250 4, units were 70% complete as far as labor and overhead, the only thing I did this period was to complete them. In other words, I did the other 30%. So when I look at conversion costs, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take 30% of 4,250 and I get 1,275 equivalent units of effort. In other words, that's how much effort I had to expend to finish those beginning inventory. Now, as far as the units that were both started and finished this period, does that mean that you did 100% of the work currently? Yes, because it was started and finished. So if that's the case, direct materials, we use 57,900 equivalent units of effort for materials and 57,900 equivalent units of effort for uh, labor and overhead or conversion costs to start and finish those products. Ending inventory. Our problem says that ending inventory has 100% of its materials in it. Well, when did ending inventory get the materials? This period. So 3,400 or 100%, I'm going to write 100% next to it, of the materials were added this period to ending inventory. Well, how far done are you in processing ending inventory. Well, it said you were 50% done. So if I'm 50% done as far as converting those products into completed products, then 50% of 3,400 will give me my equivalent units. So 50% of 3,400 is 1,700 equivalent units. So totaling this up as far as in step two, what are your equivalent units of effort? Um, if I, for direct materials, 57,900 plus 3,400 is 61,300 equivalent units of effort. 
for conversion, uh, 1,275 plus 57,900 plus 1,700 gives us equivalent units of 60,875. So that is the first two steps of the pr uh, production report or process report for FIFO. Find your physical units, compute your equivalent units of effort.